Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Chocolate One. Happy Memorial Day. <clears throat> Today I'm going to do a quick project. Uh, <clears throat> this is going to, um, then I'm going to run it over to the cemetery. This is for a, uh, he was such a nice guy. He was one of my patients. He's a, um, his name is uh, T-Rex, is his nickname. And um, he was a Vietnam vet who um, unfortunately um, suffered from the side effects of Agent Orange. So um, I wanted to honor him today. I got to know him and his wife really well. And I just really appreciated the time that I got to spend with him. So I'm doing just a little honorary piece for him to put on his grave today. Um, so what I've done, let me put my screen down here. Here, we'll do this. This is just a, a little piece of pine wood that I've, um, that I painted. Um, we'll take some sandpaper and rough up the edges a little bit too. Um, and I want to, <clears throat> it was pine, I painted it with a primer, a white primer. And I want to put just a little bit of, um, here, this is the brush I want. I'm going to put a little bit of blue on it. So I've got two different colored blues here, you can see. So we'll get a little bit of depth. And then um, I'm gonna put Gone Fishing, be back when I feel like it. A little more water on there. On one side, and then Stars and Stripes Forever on the other side, so. I don't care if it, <clears throat> I don't care if it really drips down the side or not because I've got some, um, craft paper that I'm going to apply to the sides. Found some really great um, military craft paper online. It's gonna work nicely for this. Okay, we're just gonna tap this out. This is um, Robin Schmidt's paper towel press method that I really enjoy doing sometimes. Now let's add a little bit of darker blue in there. And just put a little dot on my paintbrush. His sweet wife, Billy, um, moved to Tennessee to be close to her daughter, which I'm so happy for her. So I'll make sure I send her a picture of this when I'm done. That looks kind of nice. Okay, let's try that. If you're watching, would you please say hello and drop a message for me? Let me know what you're doing today. If you have any special plans or you get together. It is um, a beautiful day here in North Idaho. The sun's out. I like that. I like it just like that. Okay. Um, I think we can do the other side, and maybe I'll do the other side in a red. Better make sure that this, I don't want to end up with purple. Use this over here. There we go. And we'll be ready to go on this side too. We'll put a coat of wax over this and we'll sand the edges. I 
this is just acrylic paint and you um, you can paint with the our chalk paste also yeah I when I first met uh, Terry I asked him I said has anybody ever called you T-Rex? He laughed. He says, yeah, all the time. <laughs> so. Bless his heart. Let's get some more paint on that. That was, he was a patient of mine a couple of years ago. I think it's, yeah, I think it's been a couple of years now since he passed. Pretty good. Enjoy that. find our wax. This is just a wood um, finishing wax and Chalk Couture does sell uh, wax also but I've got a couple of these buckets to go through first and it'll probably last me quite a while. This does have <clears throat> a slight odor to it and I know Chalk Couture's does not. It's more of a petroleum base so if you're sensitive to scents, to smells, then you'll definitely want to check out Chalk Couture. And I don't think, um, well, let's do the, let's just do this side while we got this out. I don't think that this um, Gone Fishing Transfer is still available, but um, I saw another designer do this as a memorial for one of her, for her loved one. And I thought, what a nice sentiment that is. Gone fishing, you know. We love fishing here in North Idaho. We have some beautiful lakes. And now the weather's getting nice. We'll be able to, Bill and I will be able to get out there and enjoy the lakes again. And then I just like, I like to buff my wax back off because I kind of like the little bit of sheen that it gets. And then I'll probably also spray this with a, a, a shellac, a, an acrylic sealer, since it'll be out in the weather. There, that looks good. Okay. All right, now we need a fuzzing, a fuzzing cloth. I can get rid of this for the moment until we get the Mod Podge out. Yeah, I said a fuzzing clock. So 
So the reason I'm fuzzing this is because these are adhesive. They're sticky, and um, it protects your it protects your transfer from stretching when you pull it up, and um, it also with the waxing and then the fuzzing also it helps prevent from picking up any of this pa uh, paint that we just put down. Alright, now the whole thing's not going to fit on there, but um, I thought I'm gonna try and get the word centered. Let's see here. That looks pretty good. And then I thought we'd do this in, maybe I'll do the silver for the little lines that we do have, and then red in the, so, you know, we kind of stick with a patriotic theme today. Put my spectacles on. I would really like that to be a darker red. What else do I have? I have... We have scarlet. I like that. Get a stir stick. Stir my paste up. Oh, and this was ink I was about to put on there anyway. Thank goodness. I stopped for a minute. Oh, look at that. I pulled out all the ink. I wasn't thinking. I'll have to go back in. Oh, well, this is our old formula paste, but it still works really well. Last week, I went through and <clears throat> um, stirred up all the paste. Those barn kitties are driving the dogs crazy today. Okay, that looks pretty good. I like this color a lot. Um, maybe, oh, I think that's silver. Maybe, oh, I think, it, well, either gold, silver, or shimmer splash. Maybe the shimmer splash, since we have the blue on the back there. Yep, that's what we'll do. But we're gonna go just over the words with red, scarlet this is. I got a bump right there, darn it. Maybe we'll be okay. That's the other good thing about waxing your wood surfaces is that <clears throat> if, if you do get a bleed under there, it cleans up a little bit easier. Okay, that looks good. And I think we'll grab a multi-purpose tool for this.
So I'm just putting it on and spreading it out. And then we'll go back through and skim off any extra glue that we have on here. But I think, I think we did pretty good. Okay, let's pull this up. You know that I got a couple of bleeds under there. I can clean that up though, that'll be fine. There we go. Okay, that's the first part. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna wash this off. dry over here, drip on the edge there for a minute. Okay, let's dry that. I should mention, Terry was in the army. My husband is a Marine. My stepson is a Marine. My dad was in the Air Force. My uncles were in the army. We've got a lot of military in our family. I'm proud of all of them. Where's my little pokey tool? Here it is. Let me see if I can. Yeah, that'll clean off there. And where's the bed here? Just clean that up a little bit. And that, my friends, is the beauty of using wax. There, that looks pretty good. All right, let's try. Now for this side, I thought we would use part of this transfer. This is our stars, what is this called? Stars and Stripes? Um, star cutout patterns. Step down there. I think we have. This does not need to be waxed because. And then let's see, I think we can put Freedom over here. This one does. We haven't used that one as much. All right, set this over here.
there like that. But let's get this. Let's decide what colors we're going to use on this. Maybe the... Um, the Shimmer Splash would be good on that, too. What did I do with it? I just had it. Well, oh, it's right here. Open your eyes, Beth. Open your eyes. And maybe the crimson red, or the not crimson red, but the shimmer red too. I want shimmers. I want shimmers. And then silver maybe, or gold. What do you think? Maybe we'll do freedom in silver and we'll use gold up here. Make sure I got those air bubbles out of there. I think silver for forever. I, I do love these um, patriotic colors. I just love them. Good. Wash this real quick. We had our barbecue yesterday and it was delicious. It was so beautiful out. We barbecued hot dogs and hamburgers and um, we had baked beans and Sue made a broccoli salad and then she made this really yummy, um, what did she call it? One day sauerkraut it was really, it tasted like a, uh, like a slaw, but it was really tasty. So we have leftovers today, which will be great. I better dry that before we try and put anything on it.
create them over here. And since our freedom is golden, we'll use gold shimmer paste. I like it. Okay. Let's dry that. So we're done with that part of it now. Let's do with some Mod Podge. A little Mod Podge. So we can either do this that says duty, honor, or we can do the stars. I don't know which one do I want. I think I like the darker color on it. So that's what we'll do. Although this says hero, let me see here. No, that's too many words. Um, we'll do the stars. So make sure we paste glue on the right side. This brush works good for this. <clears throat> so here's our Mod Podge. shoot. Well, I'm going to shellac it anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Oh! I'm just all over the place here. There we go. <laughs> Sit down, good. needs more glue on it. I feel like it needs more glue everywhere.
try and get that to seal on there. Just press it down to get a good seal on that paper. There we go. Now this, we just need a teeny tiny piece. Oops, put a bubble over there. I think that um, corner got rounded a little bit when I was sanding it. Perfect, it fell off. Okay, there's that. Now, let's see if I can find a piece of sanding paper or sanding block in here. <clears throat> sanding block somewhere or just a tiny little piece of paper I don't know one second guys A little distressing to the corners. This drawer is terrible. Everything just slides around in it. Just terrible. I come over 
here and see. Oh, here's. Oops. Need the sander. I can move it probably there. Let me see if I have a little used piece in here. No, those are both new. Well, I guess I'll have to wait until I go get the sander to finish this. But anyways, this is it's just going to sit on his headstone um, for as long as it stays there, stays in the weather or out of the weather. But that's for my friend T-Rex. Be back when I feel like it. All right. Hey, thanks for stopping by today. If you're watching this on the replay, please um, put hashtag replay in the comments. And always, if you ever have any questions for me, drop me a comment and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. We'll talk again soon.